you came through and you studied and you went through that way. Um, and then now you've kind of made a bit of an adjustment to more of the holistic approach. On that new front, what's been the most um, well-received um, tool, I guess, you know, because you've got your breath work and even diet is such a big one as well. But I guess where do people see the biggest shift from that new holistic approach? I think that, you know, I think, I mean, <clears throat> mindfulness, I can kind of back it up too. I think mindfulness has always been a part of my practice before yep. I would kind of have to, I had two pivots in my own personal life and personal training or clinical training. Mm -hmm. One was discovering <clears throat> mindfulness has happened well before mindfulness, I think, is what it is now. Mm. Um, and then the next pivot was kind of my health and realizing that the body had to be included. Um, so I think mindfulness has always been there in my world and it's definitely part of the, the, the holistic approach that I now utilize. I think that's the most, that's kind of the universally known aspect of it. Yeah. Now. Anyone who practices yoga or med you, you, at this point, you've heard of mindfulness and meditation. Yeah. Um, so I think that's been a, a really naturally kind of um, integrated part into, you know, of my message that most people can identify with, have heard of, or relate to it and maybe even, Right. Yeah. Obviously, these barriers that people get tricked up around with all things mindfulness and meditation. But I think that was that's the first kind of eased way in because it's natural. It's there. Like, yes. It's yeah. Of it. um, breath work, I think, is an extension of that. Right. So, like here, let me show you that you have more control. Let me show mm. you that you can control your body. This is where we're actually making that connect between intention or the mind and choices and, and our body's physiology. Um, I guess I would put all things nutrition and third on the list because I think that there's a lot of overwhelming, contradicting, opposing information out there on terms of nutri all things nutrition yeah. <laughs> that I had to sift through myself in terms of my own self-healing process. So I get it. Yeah. Um, and I, I think <clears throat> that is, we're not taught this anywhere in school. There's not a clinician clinician. Um, and I don't think programs have changed to that extent as of recent. I'm hoping that does happen and I hope to play a part of it. For sure. But we're not learning this. Mm. Um, so I think that that is a, a, a fear base, a threat point, and an overwhelm, like I was saying earlier, mm. for a lot of not only the clinicians, but I think the individuals, the people who want to heal. I think that there's a lot that gets wrapped up in how much role does nutrition play or doesn't it. And if I do think it plays a role, what is the right diet for me? And I think that actually, I would say, is not the easiest sell in a sense, um, but it's, in my opinion, one of the most foundational and important ones. Yeah, for sure. Yep. It certainly, it certainly sets everything else in tone as well. It's so funny though when you have, um, when you are going through like a mental health issue, and speaking from experience, you know, taking myself back to that moment. Nutrition was like the last thing I was thinking of. You know, I was really worried about the, all these intrusive thoughts and worried about the compulsions I was doing and stuff. And the last thing I was thinking was like, oh, yeah, that's right. I ate like 79 chicken burgers last night. It's probably not the best thing, you know. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And I think it's, it's not only the not intuitive thing that we go to first. Um, I think that there's a lot of feelings and beliefs that get wrapped up around in terms of resistance. Mm. Um, I think eating and food is so much beyond nutritional needs that my body has and what I'm putting in. We have meaning, psychological, emotional that get wrapped up in our in our eating behaviors. Mm. I think I did a post recently about accountability. I think those are, it's, it's much more complicated. Yep. And like you're saying, it isn't the first thought of thing, but it's also the most consistent thing that we do have control over that I do think, like I said, has a lot of barriers to us taking the control and making the better choices for ourselves.